So going into this movie, I completely forgot that Mara Tierney was in it, and seeing her in a movie called The Iron Claw, I could not help but think about this scene from Liar Liar. He does the claw. The what? The claw. You know, it's like this... I don't... Run for your life. It's the claw. The claw! Mm. I really hope I was not the only person in that theater that thought of that scene. We taking over the game one step at a time. Everybody has these dreams of being first in line. It may take a little while before we reach the light. We just gotta take what we gotta make. The Iron Claw was directed by Sean Durkin, and this film stars Zac Efron, Jeremy Allen White, Harris Dickinson, and a shitload of other actors. And this film tells the true story of the Von Erichs, a wrestling family who were active from the 70s to the early 90s, and it basically chronicles their life on how they first started wrestling from their father, who used to be a wrestler back in the day, and also goes over the supposed Von Erich family curse, which has littered the entire family with nothing but tragedy. Before I go into the rest of the video, hit that like and subscribe button down below and let me know what your guys' favorite wrestling movie is. Mine personally is The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke. I think that's an absolute masterpiece that you guys need to check out, but let's save that for another video. So in case you guys didn't know, I'm actually a pretty big wrestling fan. I'm actually about to go to SmackDown in a couple months here in Glendale, Arizona. And I did know of the Von Erich name, but I wasn't really too familiar with the actual story, except for the main key elements about it. So I went into this movie half blind, knowing a little bit about it, but not knowing everything about it. I saw this movie with a couple friends of mine who were also big wrestling fans, and um, man, this movie was hard to watch. I'm not lying when I say this, this was one of the most emotional, gut-wrenching films I have seen in a very long time. The Iron Claw, in my opinion, is one of the best films of 2023, and starting off with the performances, Zac Efron, give this man the Oscar. I mean, just give him the Oscar already. Like, it's it's done. We don't, even, we don't even need to do the Oscars. We don't hear, need to hear the nominations. Give this man the Oscar. If you would have told me that Troy from High School Musical would go on to give such an incredible performance years later, I would have called bullshit. So now, I don't want to hear any of this, oh, High School Musical 17 again bullshit. It's done. We're completely done with it. The type of acting ability and emotion that people thought Zac Efron would never be able to pull off, he ends up do pulling off, and he is fucking incredible in this movie. But not to shy away from him is Jeremy Allen White, who also gives a great performance in a supporting role. And it's also kind of sad because can Jeremy Allen White ever take a role where he's not part of a dysfunctional family? It seems like this guy just can't get a break. Harris Dickinson is also really good as one of the brothers. Holt McCannley, I believe that's how you say his name. If not, then I do apologize for saying it wrong. Was very good as Fritz Von Erich, the father. And you do get to know a little bit about his backstory. He was at one point a professional wrestler who was trying to get to a career, but ended up falling down. And now he's kind of forcing his sons in a way to fulfill that dream that he never got to accomplish. And he's living off the success of his sons. The acting across the board is great. Mara Tierney, who plays the mother, I thought was really good. Lily James, who plays as Kevin Von Erich's girlfriend slash wife in the movie, was also very good. The actor who played Ric Flair did not really work for me. He definitely had the looks, but this is not Ric Flair. Sean Durkin's direction with this movie I thought was absolutely perfect. It never drags, it always kept my attention going, and it's also a movie that really does take its time with its characters. Especially with all the characters that this movie has to explore, every single one of them gets such a beautiful character arc, and by the end of the movie, I was literally on the verge of wanting to break down. And the wrestling sequences are done perfectly. They're all done in a lot of really long, wide takes. Some of them actually feel like just long, continuous shots. And I thought that was the smartest way to go because Sean Durkin really wants to show the audience all the hard work that these actors had to do in order to make sure they got everything right. And it's perfect. This movie honestly was basically perfect for me. My only gripe with the movie is a little bit half and half for me. Part of me understands why Sean Durkin went this direction, but part of me still wishes they would have at least tried to include this character, and that has to do with the fact that one of the Von Erich brothers is not present in this movie, which is Chris Von Erich. They don't even mention him in this movie whatsoever. But after watching the movie and seeing how the story played out, 
I totally understand why Sean Durkin went with that direction, but part of me still wishes that they would have at least included some of Chris Von Erich because most of the people going to see this movie probably don't even know the true story and they are probably wanting the audience to really feel the pain and suffering that this family went through and I feel like the best way to do that is to include the entire family, but at the same time, I totally understand it. Besides that aspect of the film that I wish they would have done a little bit differently, I thought this movie was incredible. This is absolutely one of the best films of 2023. This might be my favorite film of 2023, and I cannot wait to see it again. I'm going to give The Iron Claw an A-. minus. And there you have it guys, that is my thoughts on The Iron Claw. Did you guys see this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys next time in the new video. Peace.